Hey there Royals, this is Royal Gamer, and welcome to this tutorial on how to add Drop Shadow. Now, as you can see by my example of yesterday's video, uh, you can see that there is some Drop Shadow around the number 1, some Drop Shadow around the Diamond Swords, and around the Minecraft Link as well. I'm not the Link, but the logo. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this real quick. So, this should be this should take very long. Alright, so what you do is, let's, let's start off with a new, uh, a new image here. I always like to go... Uh, to do transparent background. This is GIMP, by the way. You can get this at GIMP.com. It's a free software, uh, so you don't have to spend all your money on Photoshop. So you can do all this cool stuff on this program. So of course, we're going to get 1080 by 720. That's the recommended size for um, any, you know, any thumbnail. So let's go ahead and bring that over here. Let's go ahead and fill up the screen so you guys can see my marvelous handiwork. Alright, so we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with text. So we're going to add a pressable text option here. And we're going to open a, a text layer. And uh, here we go. Alright, so of course I want to make it bigger than what it currently is. So let's make it 200 pixels maybe. Alright, let's see. Is that working so far? Cool. And I want to make the color... Um, okay gonna make the color white all right cool so uh, let's see here drop shadow words <laughs> why not okay so here we have our words that we're going to add some drop shadow to and so after that we then grab our move tool we don't really need that anyway so what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the text layer and actually, hmm, let me see here. Can I alpha selection? I can. Okay, so what you do is you right click on the, the layer and you click on alpha to selection. That way it selects the outlines of the words, uh, basically all of them. And so what that allows you to do is you'll just select the words themselves and then you go to, uh, let's see, let's go to right click on them, go to select, press grow. And then you get this uh, option box over here. Um, I've been uh, for my last thumbnail. I was using eight, so you can grow the selection by eight pixels. So that makes a nice outline around the words. And then what you do is create a new layer. Uh, again, I'm just gonna make it 720p, just cause. Uh, all right. And then we're gonna make sure that's underneath the text. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our paint tool and we're gonna paint that selection. And bam, look at that, just automatically fills in a nice background for your words. So it's already looking pretty good. Now the next thing to do for our drop shadow in particular is to add a blur. So for that we're going to go to edit, uh, we're going to make, no wait, no, select, click none. And so that's no longer be select. Click on the layer itself and then go to filters. You will find the selection of blur. Click on Gaussian Blur. That's apparently the most common version there is. As you can see, it's going to add a nice blur to it. So, as you can see, the more you know, the higher the number is, the more blur. So, depending on your preference, but a lot of people like myself like to choose 15. So I have that selected, uh, rendering that right now. And as you can see, there's a nice uh, background uh, blur to the lettering. And of course, you can use the move tool to move around the shadow any which way you want. And so that makes a nice, neat effect. Now, one more thing I wanted to show you is, uh, of course, making drop shadows for items. And it's basically the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and open up any particular item. In, case, in this particular case, I'm going to open up uh, the sword that I had earlier. Uh, and yeah, I might as well show you how to, how to scale items as well. So use the scale tool. And then you can, you know, hold shift and make it a lot smaller that way. Just shrink that down in size here. Whatever, that should be good. All right. So you can, you know, have your little item over here. Then what you can do, for, this is just the same as anything else. You go to alpha to selection, makes a nice cool selection around it. Go to select, click on grow. And then you press OK to grow it by a certain amount of pixels. Create a new layer. Again, it'll be the same size. Um, put it right there. And then fill it in with paint. Voila. 
fills that up nice select none and then click on the that layer that you just made go to filters click on blur uh, not regular blur that was a mistake <laughs> Uh, I guess that automatically did it for me, but I didn't want that. I just want Gaussian Blur. Alright, and we'll make it 15 again. Alright, so it's rendering that right now, and voila, we have a nice blur around our sword. We can move that around to make it nice and neat. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope this helped you out. Um, if you want this program, the link will be in the description. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!